Hey everybody, Dave Grant, real estate broker today. And a little quick tip today. So make it a quick video. But one of the challenges I get sometimes with some of the agents in my brokerage uh, when we have negotiation with contracts is uh, how do I protect my buyer for their due diligence period? And what, and what I mean by that is this. Generally, we see a due diligence or inspection period here in, in Las Vegas that is 7 to 10 days. There's no set time, but 7 to 10 is about customary, maybe 15, 14 days, right? But here's kind of the scenario that plays out. So I've written a contract, we've got an accepted offer, we do our home inspection, and we've submitted our request on the behalf of the buyer for any repairs uh, that they would like to see completed from the seller, along with the inspection report, right? And now they've had it for a couple of days. The due diligence period is coming up to expire with no resolution, if you will, to my buyer's request for repairs. Due diligence period expires today at 5 p.m. into business. We don't have a response. Agent's been non-responsive to me. What do we do? Well, technically, at the end of that due diligence period, right, the we hope that we've negotiated any repairs uh, that need to be negotiated so that we can move forward into the transaction. But in this scenario, the seller hasn't responded, right? So if I don't get a written response, technically by the contract it says that my buyer has to let the seller know whether they approve or disapprove of the inspection by such and such date. And that if there is no remedy or no outcome from that inspection or that due diligence period within that time frame, then that's deeming that the buyer is accepting the property in the condition it is, right? Now, there probably could be some back and forth argument after the fact, but we want to prevent that, right? We want to prevent getting to that. So here is something that I instruct my agents here in, in, in my brokerage on how to help that, okay? And the verbiage is like this. And we put this in the additional term section of the contract. And then once the seller and we have a ratified agreed upon contract, that verbiage is agreed upon unless that verbiage has been taken out via a counter offer, right? Um, but here's the verbiage in the additional term section. And whatever the verbiage is in your market, okay? I'm only speaking about the Las Vegas market. But whatever the verbiage is in your market or inspection contingent periods, whatever they are, something similar can take place. So the verbiage is this. Buyers due diligence period to be automatically extended equal amount of days it takes seller to provide a written response to buyer's request for repairs. Okay, so I'll say that again. Buyers due diligence period to be automatically extended equal amount of days it takes seller to respond to buyer's request for repairs in writing. So if I've sent it over on day seven of my 10 day due diligence period and we don't get a response within that 10 day that clause and by the seller agreeing to that terminology in the contract says hey we gave it to you on day eight you didn't respond five days after we got that my due diligence period has been extended five days based on the time frame it took your seller to respond in writing that protects your client from falling out of the due diligence period if you will so i hope that helps that helps save a lot of deals, right? A lot of hassling going back and forth. And I think it also keeps all parties engaged to managing those timelines in the contract. All right, so hey, happy Friday, everybody. I hope you found some value in that today. Have a great weekend. We're moving into about the last three weeks of 2023. Business planning, right? Um, 
you should be looking at what 2024 looks like. So let's have a great weekend, everybody, and I will see you all next week. Thank you.